Hello everyone, welcome to your midweek message. This is uh, the last midweek message that I'll do in June and so I wanted to take a moment to express a huge debt of gratitude for all that Julie Bradley has contributed into the life and leadership of St Michael's over such a long period. Julie, as we head towards the end of June, is going to be retiring from full-time ministry and taking a step back from the core leadership team at St Michael's. Julie arrived at St Michael's the day after she and Chris got married, which is 40 years ago. Julie and Chris have uh, thrown themselves into the life and leadership of St Michael's over many decades. I knew that I'd come to the right church on the first Sunday that Julie and I led together. We were uh, in the church together and there was a particular reading from the Bible that Julie was tasked with reading. And when she read it, she mispronounced one of the words in the Bible reading and fell into a fit of hysterics and laughter. Uh, it, it, it was catching. That was one of the moments when I realised that I'd come to the right place as vicar. A church that could s serve the community, a church that would do so with humility, uh, and a church that would do so with a sense of humour, with a smile on its face. And Julie captured that in that moment. I knew I'd come to the right place. And Julie's gifts of pastoral care, of welcome and hospitality, of keeping an eye out for people have been a key part of all that we've done, a key part of the life of the church, a key part of the growth. Julie also has been influential, I think, in leading others into ministry. Many of you who've served in the life of the church and, and do so now, do so because of a quiet conversation that you had with Julie. Many of us will have joined in with the Alpha course because Julie sidled up to us after a service and said, would you like to do the Alpha course? We want to express our huge gratitude to Julie for all that you have led. You have been such a huge blessing, not just for the church community, but for the wider community as well, with all those people that you've cared for, looked after, looked out for, and uh, particularly funeral ministry that you've thrown yourself into has been a real blessing. On the 1st of July, we're going to be gathering together in the auditorium for a service uh, to uh, remember all that God has done in and through Julie and to pray for Julie and Chris as they head into a new uh, era of life and ministry, both together and in the life of the church. And so we all look forward to seeing all that God is going to do in and through you, Julie, in the weeks, the months and the years up ahead. Uh, because God is not finished with you yet. There is yet more to come. It will be different and we will enjoy seeing ministry worked out in a slightly different way as you spend time with all of us. So Julie and to Chris for your vicar support role, we want to say a huge thank you and bless you as you head towards all that God has for you in the, in the time up ahead. God bless. Mm -hmm.